Hello and welcome to Spotlight. My name is Derek and this is the Pulsar Accolade XP50 LRF2 Pro. So, Thermal, um, the ultimate optical flex. This is their highest end binocular thermal and we're gonna go through it real quick so that you can know why it justifies the price tag. To start with, the image is a bit upgraded from the previous Accolade. You still get the 640 by 480 display. You have a 17 micron sensor and it has an NETD of 25 millikelvin. Now the last two numbers, um, you don't really need to understand fully, but basically the smaller those numbers are, the better what that translates to is a better, able, a better ability to see uh, a small temperature difference from here to there. So it does, in the end result, make a better, smoother image. The frame rate is 50 hertz, which is fast enough to see fast moving objects like my Malinois Zuko. There's a ton of other specifications on this, which we'll post on our website. There's no need to get boring with it right now, but basically, what is it like to use these things? And the short answer is, very intuitive. Um, I tried to run through it myself without reading the instructions beforehand just to see if I can figure it out as I use it, just to see how easy it is. And it is very nice to use on that front. And then once you actually do understand how it works, you can really exploit the features on it. Now, since your mind brain has evolved to receive visual information with both eyes, having a binocular system is very, very nice. Since there's no hinge in the middle like normal binos, you adjust the interpupillary distance just by simply pressing on these here. It'll move side by side there for you. So this thing can be used by everyone at opposite ends of the bell curves. You have an interpupillary distance of as wide as 71 millimeters and as narrow as 56. So like normal binos, you can focus the individual eyepieces like so. So I know for, for me, I have to set the right the right barrel just a little bit differently than, than the left, so you do have the adjustability there. After that, the ergonomics are spot on. You have the focus in the traditional binocular location, and the buttons are well laid out, and uh, they're easy to index while you're using them. You don't need to look up and see which one you're using. And one thing that I do like about something like this is that if you hit the wrong button, it doesn't take you to some deep setting in the bino that you take five years just to get back out of. The controls are pretty straightforward. The center button is the menu, the left button here is power to turn it on and off, and while it's on, you can recalibrate it. The range finder is the top button, the record photos or video is this button here, and the back button here quickly takes you through the magnification of two and a half, 10 or 20. Now while you're using these, this is especially true in the moments right after you turn it on, you'll see the image kind of freeze for a second and then kind of click and then it'll continue as normal. What that's doing is that the sensor is recalibrating the thermal because the unit itself generates its own heat, just like all devices like it. And that would eventually start to affect the image itself. So what it does is it knows that it's heating up and then it recalibrates itself so that your image is not affected by it. Using the recording feature is very easy as well. You don't need to set anything up. You just gotta hit this button right here and then you have up to seven or eight hours of video or press and hold this for a moment or two and then you can go right to photos and then you can take 100,000 photos. Have you ever taken 100,000 photos in your life? Now when you hold that button to change between video and photo, a little display in the top left corner will show you which one you're on, so it's very easy. Now since this is mainly going to be used for hunting, it does have a built-in range finder with a max range of 1,000 meters. I would say to start to flirt with that distance, I would advise putting it on a tripod. It has a quarter 20 thread on the bottom of it here, and as you can see, I have a a uh, Vortex tripod mount on it right now. Uh, that would really, really help you when you're trying to hit that far. Two other nice features is that it will give you the actual measured angle and the corrected range as well. As far as power source, it is run by their IPS7 battery, which will give you a runtime of about seven to eight hours. So that'll give you all night with it. You can upgrade to a larger battery like the IPS14, which will give you about double that. Now you can directly plug it in to charge it with this micro USB outlet on the left side here, or you can take the battery off 
it'll come with this device here so you can plug the battery into this, plug it into a USB outlet to do the same. As far as warranty information, it is covered under a three-year manufacturer defect warranty. So if something goes wrong with it while you're using it, that really shouldn't have, they will service it. If you drop it and break it, that's not quite covered, but uh, definitely use the neck strap. That'll be included with this. It'll just clip in right here. And it has this soft case with its own strap as well. As far as warranty goes, you would definitely want to maintain a copy of your receipt or register the warranty with the card because if you don't, the warranty is only manufacturer date plus six months. So if we get these in January and you buy them in March, the warranty is only good till June. To wrap it up, these things are extremely impressive. It is some of the best thermal I've ever seen. And uh, what, what we'll do right now is give you a few takes as to the things that we've been able to use it for. So we got some, some deer out in a field. We've seen a dog running around. We've done some shooting with it for an upcoming night vision video. And, uh, and it handled all that very well. So that'll wrap it up for this Pulsar Accolade. So if you have any questions, please give us a call. We can talk about it for you. Please give it a like and subscribe. You can find us on Facebook and Instagram. And we'll see you next week.